Hey guys, Robert here. Um, we've got our next uh, product install. Uh, we're really excited about this one because it's going to give us a lot more peace of mind on the trail. So from Evo Manufacturing, we've got the uh, transmission skid plate. Uh, we have the oil pan skid plate. Uh, we got this. This was one of the, the biggest things that um, one of our first uh, ever adventures. Uh, watched the guy crack his oil pan. So we definitely uh, wanted to get some protection for that. Um, and then we have the exhaust um, skid plate uh, as well by Evo. We've got it on five ton uh, jack stands. I put a block behind the front tires and I even locked the brakes. Installing the transfer case is very simple. Just follow the instructions given and remove some bolts. Take down the current skid rail, loosen the transfer skid plate because this will be going back over the new skid plate and remove the nut from the driver skid control arm. So we have the old crossbar off next to the new one. You can see major difference. Uh, these weighed out around nine pounds. This is 24. I can't pick it up with one hand. Uh, so 24.7 pounds, uh, right around nine, I believe. I took pictures, uh, but yeah, major, major difference. So now we'll uh, install this one on. In the sky, gazing far into the night, I raise my hands. 
to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through, if you believe it's true, baby won't you let the light shine through. Last thing is to do to check the, make sure these are torqued to 80 foot pounds and this is uh, torqued to 120. And uh, this is strong. I'm really loving this. This was the easiest part of the install. Remove the oil. It's not fully necessary, but it's highly recommended. Uh, make sure you have put oil back in before you start uh, your Jeep back up. Uh, but for this, just drop the bolts on the original oil pan, inst install the new oil pan skid plate, and reinstall the bolts. Uh, I didn't uh, record taking out the bolts, uh, but it's pretty simple. Just uh, unscrew those and uh, put on the new skid plate. To the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through, if you believe it's true, baby won't you let the light shine through. They say after uh, a couple days uh, to check to see the oil if it's leaking uh, out of any of these uh, screws or these bolts. Uh, so now we just got to fill it back up with oil and uh, she's good to go. This was by far the hardest part of the install. Also not a lot of people have done this section, however it was one that I really wanted done. The transmission co cooling line on JKs are completely exposed and this plate will cover everything for your transmission. To get this you have to remove some of the hardest bolts which are on top of the plate that connects the transfer case. Getting a wrench on them was a nightmare and they are on super tight. After some research and lubing them up they finally came loose. Just really gotta uh, put a lot of uh, muscle into it and get them off. We didn't need to lift the transfer case like the instructions say. Uh, we just slid back the new skid plate and set it on the threads of the bolts we just took off. All right, we got the, the two hold, hardest bolts on this whole Jeep off. Uh, so now we just gotta uh, bolt the tra uh, transmission case up. This back piece. Here, they're going on the bolts over here. Well, 
the instructions say to lift the transfer case up a smidgen. I'm going to try it without. Done. There it is. So I did not need to lift the transfer case up. There's already enough room.